Hey, Pop Culture Overload fans, it's Jason the X here, and I got another review for you. Well, if you haven't heard, the Thundercats line, cartoon, all canceled, gone bye bye. Which, the series was actually pretty good. I hate that, that it's gone now. But I was able to procure this guy. He was rather hard to find. Didn't never released in stores, never saw him. I uh, got him cheap off of a website called Nerd Coop, uh, Nerd Coopia or something like that. Ah, eh, whatever. They're not paying me. I'm not giving them any free units. <laughs> anyway, okay. But this is the six-inch Tigra from the Thundercats line, the uh, modern version. And let's take a look at his packaging. He came pretty nice in packaging, like this, uh, kind of like he was diving off to the side. And it was really cool. You got uh, 18 points of articulation in multi-languages. Some nice artwork there. And we'll turn around to the back here. And you can see, you know, we got that. Create multiple poses. As my dog, she won't shut up. Anyway. But we'll get that out of the way. Here is Tigra. And Tigra is very cool. Um, this Thundercat 6 inch line really had a lot of potential until they killed it. And it got better because the Panthro, the Lion, all those figures I wasn't even impressed with. Then Chitara comes along. And Chitara was awesome. And it was setting a trend that I was glad to see. But unfortunately, this is the last figure. And it's a shame because this guy is really great. Um, to get a look at his accessories, he comes with his whip. Just like old school Tiger. It's pretty long. It's made of this nice uh, kind, of, kind of hard plastic material. But it will kind of take shape. A little bit. There's no wire or anything in it. It's just metal. Or bit. Plastic. Uh, the tips were just blue. I painted them red just because, yeah, you know, they're red on the show. I get those little diamond tips. Uh, it's kind of loose in his hand, in this one at least. But I was planning on taking a blow dryer, maybe tightening that up a little bit. But I got this guy for like 20 bucks, and that's, that's great with me. <laughs> 20 bucks is great. Oh, and then this, this hand here can hold the whip as well. All of them ha kind of have this uh, kind of slanted grip on there. This isn't too bad. I like to keep it in this hand because also as an accessory, we have this pistol here, which is really cool to me. A lot of great detail. It looks just like the one on the show. But I don't think they never, they didn't have a problem with that with the smaller scale one. It looked just like this. Uh, this hand is actually molded to hold it. It's got a uh, finger free to put inside the trigger. And there you go. And he holds it pretty well. So, yeah. I really like this guy. And it's a shame. I mean, the only people we were really missing were, well, I guess, Pumaira and uh, the kittens. But just great and great articulation. The other figures had just these bad joints where you could see all the pins and everything. And they fixed that on here, so they were they were on a good trend up. Bandai was until you know, you still got black pegs in the side, but it's cool. It's cool because you know they're on the side. It's actually covered up pretty well here. <sighs> it's a shame. This is a great figure. I was really happy to get him. Uh, he's got uh, some articulation that tilt on the ankle here, tilt back and forth. Uh, he's got double jointed knees, very smooth, not sticky at all. He's got uh, ball joint on the hips. Now, it is kind of hard with this side because he does have his holster over here. And oh, just like a look at that holster. He's got his reloads right there. And uh, it's pegged in at the left hip. I don't see a place to take this belt off, so I'm not going to try. He has a waist articulation, side to side at least. Actually, no, look, he's got a bit of a ball joint here at the waist. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Uh, uh, he's got a torso joint here. Um, I can't get it to move side to side, but I can get it to move that way. The head is, I think it's on a ball joint, but it's hindered, and all you can get is just side to side movement out of it. Ball jointed shoulders, twist of the bicep, double jointed elbows, and his wrist articulation here and here. So he's got double wrist articulation, which is pretty cool. I, I gotta say, this is a really great figure. In comparison, let me show you the lion figure we got. I'm having a problem with getting things to stand on here tonight, especially arachnid, stupid bug girl. Anyway. 
So here's a look at Lionel. And let's just compare these face sculpts. I mean, you've got that one, and you've got that one. Let me see. Let me put them like this. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. But, I mean, this is almost night and day. I think I got my lights too bright. You bring him in closer. There we go. Not a lot of expression on there. Pretty crappily done. And you got those big black screws you can see in his shoulders. This guy doesn't. And... Oh, this line had potential. And unfortunately, it's now gone, along with the cartoon, which wasn't that bad. But anyway, that is my review of the 6-inch Tigra from the Thundercats line. I've been Jason the X. <laughs> uh, you guys are killing me tonight. Uh, I've been Jason the X for Pop Culture Overload. Please visit us at popcultureoverload.com. Follow me on Twitter at Jason the X. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.